So someone sent me this when I was kind of on my way here. This is a, I always like it when it comes from the real world, but basically someone in their workplace yeah. got an email and it's a blog post, a quick guide to inclusive emoji use. And this is at their work. Everyone got sent in being like, Hey, just so you know, people have been using emojis. We have to go through this thing to make sure you're doing them right. And this is coming from the top yeah. <laughs> of a real fucking company. <laughs> And they said, the first part is, when you don't have a lot of information, be as neutral as you can. For example, use the cat emoji instead of a person. So you don't want to send a person because you might have the wrong race, so you use a cat emoji. So they like they say use animals, ideally. Well, that's what the yellow is for. Well, they, Unless they, you send it to an second Asian. second choice. Yeah, and yeah. then they go, what the fuck? No, they say use multiple colors of emojis is the, uh, uh, the best practices. So if you send a hand emoji, send one of each color every Ooh. time. <laughs> Why you send four? I just love the idea of like the guy who's like, you know, five years from yeah. retirement. He's like... <laughs> I don't use emojis. I'm a fucking grown man. Yeah. What are you queers talking about? I don't use emojis. And they go, well, if you do use a cat, he goes, I'm not fucking sending anybody a cat at work. <laughs> yeah. I, it is always goes back to that thing. I hope this is happening on the fucking rig. <laughs> it was like my friend in the scrap metal business. So don't use, this is the cardinal sin of all sins is using a darker skin tone than yours. If you're white. Well, it may be tempting for a white person to use a darker skin. <laughs> oh, it's so tempting. <laughs> Um, to uh, emoji to demonstrate your solidarity or allyship. Like you might be saying, <laughs> that's funny. You're so fucking in this shit that you send your black people like a black fist for allyship. <laughs> it is best to use an appropriate skin tone emoji to avoid digital black face or brown face. So just don't talk to anyone. Don't respond to anyone. The point form is the only way to do just your email. Just keep emails. work at work. Just be a work person at work. And then, you know, when you don't leave talk work. to anyone, and consider everyone like a spy. Yes, that's really what it is. is everybody's a spy. At <laughs> everyone work. you work with is a spy. Don't trust anyone. No. <laughs> it's, it's old school Russia where you go, if you have your joke about the the government keep it to yourself don't even trust your wife and kids no 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 one can be trusted they said don't engage in sexual harassment based on emojis like the eggplant so they're saying do not send the eggplant or mean, the squirt like, emoji obviously yeah <laughs> that, that was the only one that kind of you go yeah fine use emojis that break stereotypes so this one's really good this is what they recommend for you at your job the vocational emojis are used in stereotypical gendered or racialized ways for example a construction worker that's male so they're saying when you send a thing you being like hey the construction workers are coming today send a female construction worker or if you're like hey i'm just going to play some basketball then you can send like white a female uh basketball player yeah, yeah of course of course <laughs> it's like the last thing with the radiator only send a female radiator repair woman yeah how funny is that though you're doing like a black thing imagine you talking to like you're a black friend a black co-worker and then you're not allowed to use black ones for yourself, but for you go, hey, I'm just going to see the doctor. And you post like a black doctor like to your black friend. It's like how obviously pandering that totally is. Totally patronizing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to the weightlifting competition, female strongman. It's like, <laughs> fuck off. And anyways, they sent a bunch of those, but they also said... Was this at the CBC? You have to make sure that, uh, no, it wasn't. You have to make sure that not all emojis carry the same meaning or connotation across cultures and spaces. So you have to be mindful of that. For example, if you send the angel in emoji denotes innocence or performing a good deed in Western culture, it can be used as a sign of death. So they're sort of saying that you have to kind of be a, a, a biblical expert in order to use emojis. I mean, literally, there's such an easy answer. Be a fucking professional. Don't use emojis. Yeah, I guess. Like but. you work at the bank. But Stop at using the same emojis. time, though, if you're working at one of these places and they send you this big thing, it would just be the biggest, like, you'll fucking leave me alone. <laughs> just make sure, hey, I just noticed you get called into the office. You go, did I do something wrong? It's like, no, you're killing it at work, but you used an angel emoji. What's Okay, what's the issue with that? <laughs> they go, well, I don't know if you know this, but in China, that's actually a negative symbol. And you go, do we have any people from China here? No. Okay, well, you're fired. <laughs> Well, sorry, you're fired. Well, sorry, we had to do this, but we have to make an example out of you, so you're fired. <laughs> We're making an example out of you. Like the fact that the emojis you have to you have to under, you go do a deep dive on different cultures to make sure that there's you have to ever anytime you're thinking about using an emoji, type into Google, be like, is angel emoji bad in any other cultures? It, so they're, they're getting... You're just, you just don't participate in this stuff. It's so You have to just you know, put your fucking head down at work. You can't get, you can't get involved just in any of this stuff. Just work is work. 
If you want to be a fucking... You or know, get out of a job like this. Or get out of a job like this. But if you are in a job like this, like I told you, my friend who works at the bank and... You know, he's like, I, do I put the pronoun? He's just like, I just do my job. And then, I mean, he will eventually have the pronouns in his email, which I promise you, I'm going to fucking get his work email. And I'm going to fucking shoot him an email that day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just so I can see the fucking pronouns. Well, I, I do think that the pronouns is a complete violation, though, because you're basically saying who you voted for. Dude, there, there's no telling more thing. It's the equivalent of someone saying that you have to put Pfizer in your bio, and you're just like, yeah. no, you're making me make a political statement. Mm -hmm. It's like you've turned these things into political statements, and then you're making me do one, pretending that you're well, making me do something gonna else. Get, no, but everybody, the, the yes and no, because they will, like my friend will do it. He's going to vote conservative, because I know that's what he votes for. But he'll do it just to like not rock the boat. No, but it makes your it makes your when you email other people like that you don't know they start oh they go he's one of those or yeah whatever. oh yeah people are gonna presume that for sure. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're forcing him to make a political statement. In oh his email. oh yeah, yeah 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 not say his yeah yeah totally. I mean it's yeah it's insane.